Do you want to turn off SharePoint engines in your environment? I love this feature, I'm a really big fan of it since the very first announcement, but I can imagine the organization that I want to deploy, roll out this functionality with the wider control, maybe better trainings for the end users, and before that point, they expect that feature to be turned off. In this video, I will show you how to do that, like in the previous one, which you can find in the channel, where I describing how to block AI agents in general, and in this case, I will show you how to manage the access to the SharePoint agents because there's no one button that you can turn on or turn off to manage this functionality. And if you like this video, leave the thumbs up, comment or subscription below to help me with YouTube algorithms. And let's switch to the admin center of the Microsoft 365 to take control about SharePoint agents across your organization. And before we get there, I want to advise you to check the description of the video where you will find Copilot Quick Start Training I prepared for the users like you to prepare you better to use Copilot Power across Microsoft 365. Check the description, you will find there the link for the training. So before we will turn off SharePoint agents, let's take a short look about this feature. So first of all, this is the capability that turning on Copilot icon on the SharePoint Online and giving you the possibility to select specific agents that you want to use across specific content in the SharePoint Online. This is very targeted functionality that for instance gives you the possibility to, or for your users to search for the guidance how to send the request for the holiday leave that will be based not on generative answer, but based on the documentation hold across your intranet or your HR site. In this case, you can see we get specific answer based on HR leave policy hold summer across our intranet. Very useful functionality, but I can imagine there will be organizations that want to turn off this feature before it will be part of the strategy, people will be trained, or there will be better management of SharePoint agents available in the Microsoft 365. So let's see how you can do that. So by design, Microsoft recommend you to open SharePoint Admin Center and if you will have at least one Microsoft 365 Copilot license, you will get access to advanced management, which can offers you the possibility to use restrict content from Microsoft 365 Copilot on the specific site. This is the feature that will turn off access for Copilot, for Microsoft Search and SharePoint agents for this specific site. So it will allow you to turn off SharePoint agents on this specific site, but at the same time, we'll remove the access from Copilot to this place and also search engine. And you need to repeat that operation on the every site. You can see this is not the suitable solution, but let me show you another thing that you can use. So if you will open Microsoft 365 Admin Center Building and License, you will find their Microsoft 365 Copilot License and all users that have this license assigned and in the option manage apps and services you will have the capability to turn off Microsoft 365 Copilot for SharePoint. If you will untick this option you will turn off this SharePoint feature that includes Copilot, includes SharePoint agents that are available there. Probably in the future this will be also tricky because another Copilot features will be landing there but today it could help you to turn off SharePoint agents for the licensed users across SharePoint Online. This is I think more suitable solution to handle turning off SharePoint agents on whole or environment rather than excluding all SharePoint sites from Copilot to get same result. Try it, check on your site. If you need to turn off SharePoint agents, I think this is the best way to do that. As you can see, there's no easy way, one button to turn off SharePoint agents on your SharePoint sites, but again, using the license assignment and configuration in there, you can manage who should have access to the SharePoint agents on your environment. Of course, you can also use this first solution, but you can see this is not flexible, suitable solution for the large environments. Test it, hopefully Microsoft will bring that kind of configuration to the main management of Copilot to be sure that every organization can control if they want to use SharePoint agents. If in your case you need to turn it off, you have clear way to do that. Thank you very much for watching, thank you very much for your time and see you in the next video.